Good afternoon, this is Bruce and welcome to my shop to um, get around number 20. We have a diffuser similar to we've had in, in previous uh, get arouts. The situation here is if you that's the side elevation cut through the diffuser. Um, there's a an inspection or oil hole that goes down through the body of the diffuser and then goes out in the other direction daylights. And it has a plug, a screwed plug in here with seals um, and a hexagon top on it. As we can see here, if you're looking down, that's the um, that's the counterbore, that's the uh, hexagon, uh, that's the plug with the hexagon head on it, and it has a has a disc for the sealing. Now they haven't been able to get this out, and so somebody's drilled this and put an easy out in, and they've broken the easy out in. Now. Quite often, an easy out with a uh, you can you can uh, break it about, break it up or, or machine it off um, with a carbide tip. This one is specific, particularly hard. So what I've opted to do, and uh, you'll see that in a second, is to machine all the way around with the cut, with a milling cutter, a machine and machine around till I'm only left with. Uh, and that's from the from the top of the, wa the this washer part of it, uh, because I, I don't think the this is in much deeper than that. To machine around and then try and unscrew this um, uh, easy out out, and then proceed to bore out the head and bore through and get that plug out. So here we are. <coughs> I've um, I'll just adjust the um, camera here. Make sure we can, we can see what we're doing. It looks like we're pretty well on anyway. I might see if we can just get it in a bit closer. I don't know whether that's going to uh, keep focus or not, so I'll go out a bit. So, with this 8mm uh, cutter, I've machined all the way around, and with the help of a pair of pliers. managed to take it out. So there we have it. This is a tapered left hand uh, left hand thread easy out. Um, so now it's exposed it so now I'm going to be able to go down in the middle here and drill through uh, right through it and then go up with a bigger cutter and cut it till I get rid of the um, uh, get rid of the top uh, and then clean it out and thread it. So we'll carry on uh, regardless. You can still see they're okay. I'll just lift that up a bit. Up about there, lock it up. Um, and we just straighten up that direction. A little bit, go out a bit more. That looks better. And we'll carry on. Well, let's see if we're in the centre. We can get ourselves into the centre there. Assuming, of course, we seem to be going through there, okay. I'll zero that in. Oh, it's close enough for the moment. We'll go up, go up a size, and. Um, Carry on. We'll fight that at the moment. Go down with an M12. See that we've already got a hole. I'll use an end mill here.
some of my uh, trusty cutting fluid. I'll go away. There it is, not far away at all. Just like prior to that, we, we bottomed out uh, at the bottom of the drill hole that they'd done. So we'll go down to that depth. That was not cooperating. But this one is. We're probably going a bit quick here, but we'll, uh, we can live with that. Come back to the same thing that uh, that I repeat myself with on these uh, uh, get her out um, shows, and that is the first thing a person should do is drill all the way through. First of all, get daylight out of whatever it is you're drilling. That's the first thing, um, and uh, consequent to that, you what well, they. What that gives us is it gives us the depth. How, what is it? What, what is the thickness or the depth or the the uh, amount of problem we're going to face? Um, so what we're going to do here is we'll change over to um, we'll change over to a regular chuck. caught out at my own undoing and not using my uh, famous bits of equipment here. Now we'll just go down with a five and a half mil pilot for a beginning. stainless steel so we'll have a bit of resistance there we are we're through first thing that should be done always before doing anything else Get that the hole drilled all the way. Drill it out as big as you can, you reduce the resistance. Quite dramatically. I'm not quite sure the size of this hole, but it'll be somewhere in the vicinity of five eighths or three quarter or um, three eighths NPT. Um, what I'll do is I'll try and go down with the lefty. I'll see what uh, that brings us. My 12 mil lefty. That's right, it goes nicely in one of those other holes. See if we can get any sense out of this.
And this one will go across it at low speed. Drop it down a bit more. Back to zero. Lock that in. And we'll see whether we can get any sense out of this. All the way through, um, nothing's. Uh, we haven't had a grab or anything like that. The oil hole should be daylighting out there. Yes, it is. Okay. So what we'll do now. Um, is we'll get a, a milling cutter and we'll see if we can mill out. We're not a hundred percent in the center um, but I think we're in enough that if we can get rid of that um, that top washer we can then be able to see the um, see the thread and then we can we can work along with our with our milling cutters until we're um, we've got a good spot there uh, to grab the center. And once again, go back to the collets. Aha, my darling has arrived. We're on the we're on the we're on the movie here, babes. Uh, uh, we're just showing a little bit of a movie here now. Right way. Mm -hmm. 
possibly. Everything here we do by ear, it's, uh, there's nothing scientific as I've said before uh, in this particular job, it's whatever we need to do to get her out. And a lot of it is sliding on our ass as they say, and gliding along. Still seeing steel here and not aluminium, so that's a good sign. There we go. Right, we got the top off. Got the top off, we got a good look inside there. There's the O-ring. So we've hit the O-ring, we've taken the top off. Um, so we've done no no damage there, there's the top, so now we can proceed, uh, now I can see uh, the, the actual bolt itself, so we'll proceed from here on to drill her out a bit more, ream it out with, the, um, with another mill, a, a little smaller mill, uh, we get that nicely centred up again and, uh, and, and get her out. So that's Yep, we're up, we're up on a lot of time here, so we'll have to stop. <laughs> 